Hi, my name is Frank Thomas and I want to show you some advanced topics that you could encounter or will encounter in your trials and tribulations with UBOT Studio. This is going to be a first of a set of videos to help you become expert coders whether you're running the standard version of UBOT or the developer version. This particular this set of um, tutorials that I'm going to be teaching will work perfectly with all versions of UBOT so if you only have the standard version don't worry you're not going to be left out in the cold on this one. So let's get started here. UBOT Studio has an excellent and easy to use set of commands to scrape information. The, the command set is pretty good. Things are always getting better all the time. You can do a lot of things with it but uh, sometimes what happens is you're going to get some websites that are very obscure in their code or they're complex. In other words, you just can't get what you want easily from the standard set of tools. And sometimes the HTML code is not clean on the page, and therefore not indicative to being scraped. Remember that they're really concerned about presentation. They're not concerned whether you're, if you're coming onto the site to, to scrape some information off of it. So sometimes we need a better set of tools to make the job easier. Just as a mechanic would go out and buy an air gun instead of just using a straight old manual monkey wrench you might go out and get one that's got an, like an air attachment on it because it gives them more power, more flexibility, it lets them do more things it lets them get the job done faster. Today we're going to be talking about regular expressions or something called regex. Regular expressions have been around forever. It's something that kind of evolved out of the Unix days late 60s, early 70s um, with a lot of the text editors like um, VI and such and what's happened is it's become one of the most powerful programming tools for uh, programmers. It's, it's a fantastic tool set and it's an extremely complex tool set let me, let me add when it comes to being used but the cool thing is like a really sophisticated set of tools you can pick up some of the easier tools in it and start using them right away and today that's kind of the idea of where we're going to be going. So I'm going to be introducing regular expressions to you. I'm going to show you a free tool and some free resources to get you started. This video in particular is going to show you the resources and the tools that I recommend. There's lots of different things you can use. Um, if you find a tool that you like better, please go ahead and use it. If it makes it easier for you to learn regular expressions, use it. I will say to you right off the top, the easiest way to learn regular expressions is to play with it and to Google it like crazy. Get in there into the search engines and just dig. Whenever you get stuck, dig for a solution. And I'm going to warn you, sometimes you've got to use all kinds of different keyword combinations to get the information you're looking for, but it is there. And also I'm going to show you a very simple uh, example with regex. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be scraping the um, UBOT Studios page. So you're going to see that here in just a second. Uh, secondary topics, we're going to be looking at some advanced list manipulation. There's a million ways to work with lists and um, there is some there is some things that are not in lists so you have to work with them in a certain way but there's some things you can do with lists. I'm going to show you some things that, you, that could cause you problems if you're working with lists. So we're going to actually generate some errors and see where things go awry on us so we can avoid doing those things in our programming. And uh, finally, we're going to look at some nesting of commands into commands. So we're going to try to simplify our code by taking commands and putting them into them. Whether, or not, whether you know it or not, you're actually already doing this. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this to a very conscious level and take our code and nest it several levels deep and it helps us to clean up our code, make it look really neat, put a function into a single box and it just looks really good. Plus we're going to also be looking at, and like I said earlier, advanced list manipulation and other topics surrounding that. So get yourself ready and we'll get started right away. To get things started here, I'm going to show you the page that we're going to be doing our regular expressions learning from over the next couple of videos and it's the uh, home page for UBOT's, UBOT Studios. I uh, was doing another example from another website and uh, this is where this whole idea for this tutorial came from and I saw, when I fired up UBOT Studio I came to this page and went, gee I wonder how hard it is to just scrape the titles. 
you know, like I said in the intro, there's a lot of great tools to already scrape web pages, but sometimes you cannot easily get what you want. Now, take a look at these commands that I've put in here. I've just created a simple list. I've used the uh, scrape edit command. I've went in here, and these are H3 titles, and um, I said I just want the inner text because that's what I want to scrape. I want to scrape the one, two, three. four, five, six titles here. Okay? Let's say the robot I'm creating needs those titles. So I say OK. If I run that command, OK, I've got nothing in there. Let me just run this. I end up with ten titles instead of six. So I end up with um, the six that I wanted, plus there's four more here at the end. Resources, current customers, contact us sales questions. Now let's just take a look here. And lo and behold, resources, current customers, contact us, and sales questions. So these are probably nested with it H3 tags as well. So we're getting more information what we need. So the command that we're using is not going to easily give us what we want. I just want the top six. Now you could say, well if I know I only need six then I would just you know throw the last four. Sure, that's a possible solution to the problem, but let's say you're going to a website, and like a, a good example of this is Amazon.com. I had a customer come to me a couple of years ago uh, when I had first really started getting into Ubot and using it and creating bots for other people, and this fought, this person wanted a uh, robot that would scrape the bestseller lists for products that fit a certain criteria. Now, things like, you know, what is the star rating? How many reviews? Is there stuff in stock? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then I would have to scrape, if the, he found things he wanted, I'd have to scrape the title, the description, the cost, the availability, uh, uh, you know, where, uh, you know, all these things, the manufacturer, the model number. And I found that Amazon.com had just enough, um, variety in their pages and their code that things looked a lot the same on most of the pages but a lot of pages the underlying code behind it was different and I eventually basically coded myself a bowl of spaghetti and I was getting very frustrated so I decided to look into regular expressions and you know this is a very simple uh, example here but the Amazon site was an extremely complex example with exactly the same problem. Either I was not grabbing as much information as I wanted or I was grabbing too much and it was very frustrating and that's when I had decided to resource to looking at regular expressions and to start learning it. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to kid you. Regular expressions are hard to learn. They are not an easy topic to pick up but fortunately for us there's a lot of great resources on the net that helps to make things easier. Now let's just take a look here and I'm going to show you all this code and how I created it uh, after the fact. And here's another slice of code that I've created and it, it doesn't use any of the commands other than regular expressions and uh, some advanced list su substitution and let's do the same thing here. I'm going to clear the variables. I'm going to run the code. I'm going to go back to the debugger and voila! One, two, three, four, five, six and only six. So that matches up to the six right down to submit a question. I don't grab the last four. And using regular expressions I'm able to do this. Yes, it did take more commands to get the job done. Uh, and I have not optimized these commands. I haven't nested them very well. And once I do that I can make this a very tight little command set and uh, turn, put this into a define and make it a nice subroutine and I could use it over and over again and that's the power of regular expressions it lets you do what is impossible elsewhere you know like for example like wow we've just got exactly what we need these five these five items instead of um, having a whole list of uh, ten items here like just to just to show you the difference here now this is great because once I built the criteria based upon regular expressions I could now, let's say this this was Amazon or this was another website where I had a lot of information to scrape and I'm actually working on another project uh, with this exact same problem 
regular tools can't do it. The regular tools in eBot, they're very powerful, but they just can't do it because the code on the page is so lean that I eventually had to start looking at the inner text within the tags. And uh, basically what they've done is they've used a table to build the page, and within the table on the description, they just use, uh, you know, like uh, like page returns and um, headers, like just text headers. And what I had to do was I had to go in and use the text headers as my criteria to scrape from. And basically, what I did then is I went and scraped the page, scraped the information, figured out the uh, the routines, and once I had the routines down, oh, it's a piece of cake now. I can scrape all that information uh, with a define, and um, I have roughly 1,700 pages to scrape, so I should have all those, uh, those uh, items scraped within a couple hours now, which is really super easy. So a couple hours of fooling with regular expressions easily solve the problem. Uh, another nice thing about regular expressions is they're really fast. Like they, you can get in there, once this is compiled, then you can get in there and do things very quickly. But enough about this. I just wanted to show you this example. Uh, this is what I'm going to be going through to show you how to get what you want. Now, let me start off by saying, as I said in the intro, the best place you can go for learning anything in regular expressions is Google. Like here I was trying to, in this example, I had to remember how to uh, regular, I uh, do a regex on any character and new line. Uh, in other words, I want to be able to scrape any character plus new lines as well, like a, like a carriage return. And so I put in regex and I put in my problem. And I found lots of great examples which showed me how to do it. Now, forewarning, Java regex or Perl regex or grep with regex, the, the formats could be slightly different. Fortunately for us, there's a great tool, which I'm going to show you right now, that we can download absolutely free. This guy, his software is great. You know what I'd actually recommend? If you end up getting his light version, buy the pro version. And only buy it because you want to support the guy, you know? His pro version, I think, is 50 bucks. But it's a great program. I've actually got it installed, and I'm going to be going through this program with you and showing how to use it to build and learn how to build regular expressions. It's a, it, this is, I'd say, if there's any one tool that has taught me regular expressions, this is the one. And it's not because the tool excelled on teaching me regular expressions, but it does excel on showing me immediate results when I try to build a regular expression. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you again. If I read a regular expression, it still, in a lot of ways, looks like gobbledygook to me. Because as I'm building it, I'm thinking about the commands that I need to get the job done and it just turns out to be this nice string of gobbledygook and if you passed me a regular expression that said help Frank how can you help me troubleshoot it you know I might be a little pressed I might be I would have to put it into a program like this to see what it's doing so interpretation it's almost like learning language you can learn a language and learn how to speak it but when somebody starts speaking back to you you have to learn how to interpret the language for our purposes a tool like this lets us learn how to speak the language but we don't have to be confluently versed in the language to get full use of it. And like I mentioned in the intro as well, you know, you don't have to know everything about regular expressions. You just need to know what you need to know to get the job done. Okay, so saying that, let me show you something else here. There is a cheat sheet that's out there that's being put up by Added Bytes. If you just search reg regex cheat sheet you will find it. it's in one of the top three but it's on the added bytes site and uh, if you go down the page here a little bit this guy once again I think he has um, you know buy me a coffee send a donation give the guy a donation this thing is great you know it's a one sheeter page reference for regular expressions it doesn't make it super easy but it's there I would just recommend downloading PDF version as a matter of fact I have the PDF version open right now Oops. And here is the top part of the PDF version. Now the whole idea behind this, it's 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 a cheat sheet. It's designed to give you a really fast once over on what a lot of the commands are and what they do. And like like I said, there you go. There's a string of gobbledygook. Don't ask me to interpret that, but I know I can take um, the uh, the um, the EditPad Pro or the EditPad Lite and I can interpret it and then get what I need out of it and I can actually see my results right away and I'm going to show you how to use this tool 
to its strongest benefit. Okay, so that's a, a that's kind of part of the whole intro. What we're going to be doing here, and uh, jump on to the next video. We're going to start actually uh, go and we're going to get the the uh, Edipad Lite and start using it. I'm going to show you how to scrape a page very quickly with uh, Ubot, so we can pull that information off and plunk it into this program here and I'll show you how to use it to get the information that we need. So do yourself a favor if you're not downloaded this yet and you want to go through the tutorial go to this fellow's website. All you have to do is go to editpadlight.com that's editpadlight.com L-I-T-E.com it'll be in the show notes and you can download that piece of software it is free get yourself the regular expressions cheat sheet from the uh, the uh, that website. Let me just dig it up here for you again. It's addedbytes.com. Again, just Google regex cheat sheet and you'll find it. Download it, print it out, have it by your desk. I've actually got a uh, plasticized version. I went it to the to the local like Staples, whatever, or the Office Depot, and I had them put it in plastic. So it's handy dandy by my desk. And uh, this is not the end-all be-all. Again, it's not going to teach you how to use regular expressions, but it's going to help you decipher what you need to know. It's almost like having an English to French dictionary when you're in France to uh, see, say what you need to say, you know, to buy breakfast or whatever. So get yourself ready, get those tools, and um, head on to the next video, and we'll start with the, uh, the first regex example.